and today we're going to speak about the fronds. Muscadet sur Romaine and the grape called Melon de Bourgogne. So this is not a usual grape for us in England and it's quite interesting itself as there is no any connections with uh, Melon and the region Bourgogne because it grows in Loire Valley in Muscadet. <laughs> so it's quite interesting. So we're going to speak today about uh, the beautiful wine which called Le Templier. The company's name is the Vigneron du Palais. It's located in the heart of Le Palais. But how the name of the wine connected to Templier? The old son Jean Chapelle used to be named Le Chapelle de Templier, as Le Templier, Knight Templars, used to live there. Since then, inhabitants of Le Palais refer to the Chateau du Palais as Chateau du Templier. We can see that on the bottle it says sur lier. So it means that the after ferment fermentation the wine wasn't filtered and it was stayed on aging on the old cells. What it gives to wine? It gives more complexity, the, it put down the acidity and the wine itself will be might be more pleasant. Let's try it and we will see. So you can see a beautiful light yellow color. On the nose, I feel the melon. <laughs> so might be there is no connections with the melon itself. It's a grape. But why it's still cold like that? Because I feel myself the melon. And this is what really pleasant for me because I really a little bit fed up from the um, gooseberry flavors, from apple flavors, from... Um, green grass especially so melon is something unusual it's something interesting and pleasant for me and i believe for you as well so the wine is dry quite rich and fruity light bodied pleasant easy drinkable but most important as it was sur lier it's not so acidic as the usual french wines a little bit of apples, a little bit of melon, a little bit of figs. So this wine is a beautiful complex, not a simple one. So give your time to understand it. Because I have a couple of customers which have been telling me, I don't really understand if I like it or I hate it. So I don't understand the taste and I don't understand the smell. So it's so unusual. Give yourself a try. Maybe if not from the first glass, you would like it but definitely from the second. Because on Surlier, you can feel a little bit spritzy on your tongue when you just open the cork of this bottle. So this prettiness comes from Surlier, yeah, from this uh, dead cells. Maybe that sounds not good, but this is how it is. And this prettiness bring also this unusual something feeling from this wine, such um, complexity and interesting feeling. I recommend to drink it with uh, shellfish, with uh, beautiful uh, seafood snacks and simply itself. So the finish of this wine is long pronounced and I would say the finish is uh, a slight acidity, a slight citrus, a slight of wild flowers. It's complex, light bodied, dry and really beautiful. That's what can I say about this wine.